The internet is buzzing with talk about the new Chinese AI DeepSeek. So today I'll give it a try and see if it's really as good as people claim. My personal litmus test for AI tools is the simplest task in programming, writing a for loop in C++. I'll start with ChatGPT. Show me an example of a for loop in C++. Here's the code it generated. At first glance, everything seems fine, but it contains a subtle yet critical mistake you might overlook. This insidious error can lead to failed job interviews and, when left unnoticed in production code, can cause serious performance issues. Now, let's try the same prompt with Claude. Show me an example of a for loop in C++. Again, the same mistake appears. The issue lies in the use of the postfix operator instead of the prefix operator for incrementing the loop counter. Here's why this matters. The postfix operator does not return the incremented value immediately. Instead, it creates a copy of the iterator's current value, increments the iterator, and then returns the old value. In most cases, this extra work is completely unnecessary because the old value is never used, just like in our example. In contrast, the prefix operator simply increments the iterator and returns the new value directly, no temporary copy, no wasted effort. I've made a video where I dive deeper into this topic. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the link in the description below. Now, let's see how the Chinese AI model performs. Can DeepSeek handle this simple task better than its Western rivals? Now, this is my very first time using DeepSeek. First impressions, well, the UI looks clean. Access is free, nice. Let me start. I'll reuse the same prompt. Show me an example of a for loop in C++. Hmm, same mistake. The code uses the postfix operator. DeepSeek claims they hired the brightest minds to build this model. While that strategy might have helped them cut costs, their model made the same basic error as its Western counterparts. Now, I still explore how it performs with more complex programming challenges, but so far I'm not impressed. All right, now go check out my in-depth video about why I believe AI won't be replacing real software developers anytime soon. Bye.